Here we have a 2024 Mercedes Maybach V12. This is the S68 Maybach. We're going to talk about the most luxurious vehicle in the world. I want to highlight this vehicle at night. It has these ambient lights that wrap around the entire interior. And you can change the colors as you suit. Solid colors, a combination of colors. This thing looks amazing at night. I'm going to get to something special about these champagne flutes in a minute. Now, let's take a look at it during the day. You can see here the Mercedes Maybach has a lot of room in the back here, almost an additional seven inches, so that all gets stretched into the wheel of the car. Now to these Champlain flutes. Notice the design? It is the same design that's in the wheel, and the wheels are actually called Champagne. The dash in this car is standard in the S-Class, but I wish they would have used the hyper screen that's in the new EQ electric vehicles. This thing is beautiful. If you're trying to build something that's one of a kind and top of the line luxury or using the super screen here from out of the E-Class, I think it should be put in the Maybach. Something about that emblem, you can't see it from this angle, but over here, it illuminates each time you open up the doors. Getting back into the interior here, you have these cushion pillows and you have this infotainment system. This thing has a lot of features that control the radio, the navigation, the climate controls. It also allows you to do things such as watch videos, make a phone call, and all this can be done from the back seats. And it's also able to be done in the front. But if you're a rear passenger, you can like check the status of the car. If you're the owner and make sure that you got enough gas, the tires are not low. It's just tons and tons of information this screen has. It's very touch sensitive. This is a solid piece of glass. It's a little reflective, but once you close the doors, because we have the doors open, um, that'll go away. Up under the hood, you have a 6 liter V12, 621 horsepower, 664 pound feet of torque. The thing about these engines, each engine is hand built and put together in Germany. One technician takes the time and puts this vehicle together. He has steps that he has to go through and measurements and tighten torque specs that he has to go through to make sure that this car is running to its peak performance. That's why when you see a Mercedes engine, you can know one man has one plaque on it. Let's talk about the digital headlights. These are just not any ordinary lights. Mercedes has taken the time to make these lights so sophisticated, you could actually watch a movie through a special program that they have in the car. It's not available in access to owners, but to give you an example of what it looks like for you, you can see these lights here will come on in a special pattern welcoming you to the car. As you're driving at night, if you're coming up on the construction, it would display a construction sign on the ground. Then it would light the pathway to make sure that you don't hit any objects on the ground. It also has traffic awareness. It will recognize the stop signs and give you warnings. Uncovering traffic does not have to worry about the glare from your car because this one has a special design where it will notice the car in front of you and block out the lights arrangement so that the person in front of you doesn't have to worry about being we're gonna get back to this system this is the Burnmaster System 4D it has these beautiful tweeters that rotate in and out but it does more than just a party trick the sound engineers spend hours and time to get this thing to be a surround sound Back in the back seat here, you have this beautiful storage compartment. We have these metal flutes for champagne, and it is real metal. It is very lightweight, but very durable. As you put it back in, you push and you'll feel it click into place. 
you have this center console piece here where you can actually remove the tablet. Unfortunately, I don't have the key, so the best I can do is turn it on and off. Underneath this armrest there are two small size executive tables, so if you're sitting in the back and working on a computer, you'll have a table to put your laptop on. Inside here, we have the storage for the champagne and for the champagne flutes. So on the bottom there is where the champagne would go and then on the top is where the glasses would go if you need those out of your way. You have a leather headliner. I have never seen a leather headliner, but this is very nice. As you can see, this thing is over seven inches long. It's one of the few cars that at this size, it looks really, really good. Mercedes is always innovating their cars. They're actually in the work to actually replace the interior of the new Mercedes. Here are just a couple of concept ideals that they have in mind. Tell me at the end of the video, leave a comment, tell me what do you think about the future of Mercedes.